You know, anytime you see the war criminals in Congress, anytime they have their hearings at their hotels, at their homes, all around the United States, you always see one other organization that refuses to allow these war criminals to walk the streets and not be held accountable, and that is Code Pink. who left his hotel so that he would know the people are not going to allow him to be in Washington, D.C. without us coming out everywhere he is saying stop the genocide and end all USA to Israel. Let's go! So please, if you can, give a warm welcome to Chris from Code Pink! charges brought against him not three months ago, not four months ago, not on October 7th, but in 2019, he had charges brought against him. This is not a year-long conflict. This is not a six-month, eight-month. This is decades. This is generations of genocide against the Palestinian people. Shame. This is not the first time that this country has tried to legitimize war criminals, legitimize war crimes at the expense of the American people. This is not the first. We demand, we want to make it clear, the demands of the people. We want to make it so clear that every step that this government takes to justify war is a direct contradiction to the wants and needs of these of the American people. As my sister just said, we in this country, we have people who can't read. We have cop cities being built. We have education being defunded year after budget year. We are in the streets saying fund our schools. Fund our communities, keep our libraries open. We are crying to keep open libraries while they are sitting in that building sending billions of dollars, $150 billion since 1948 to drop bombs on children. Shame. We drew this line here in June and we are gonna keep drawing this red line. We do not represent Whatever you're talking about in that building has nothing to do with us. It has absolutely nothing to do with us. We are here, we have been consistently crying. When the US, when the US sent money in, 2008, in 2019, we said no. When the US funded the invasion of Haiti, we said no. When the US funded the invasion of Iraq, we said no. We said no at every single point. When the US declared the Black Panthers a terrorist group, we also said no. We are the people and the people is what represents peace, freedom, and liberation. And I want to continue to make it clear. The people in that building, Hakeem Jeffries, Richie Torres, Blinken, all of those people, shame, shame, shame. But to specifically the elected officials who continue to run off of the backs of the progressive working class movement who turn their backs to us and accept war criminals who are murdering people who look just like me and you, who continue to fund cop cities to arrest people who look just like me and you, who continue to train the NYPD in Israel to arrest black and, red, black and brown people who look just like me and you do, we say no. no. That is not us. No. That has nothing to do with us. What you're, the conversations in that building happening right now have nothing to do with the needs of our communities, nothing to do with the conversations that we're having on the ground, and do not represent the ideals of us. Shame. We say yes to peace. We say no to war. Free Palestine. 